Glory to the Lord God Almighty, the maker and the possessor of heaven and earth. I am David Eichbonner, and this is David Eichbonner Ministries. Today is our communion and anointing service. I want you to stay on from beginning till the end. And today we are going to pray briefly. We will take the communion. We will also uh, hear the word of God. I will be speaking on the topic, Emmanuel, we are free. And then also I will pray on your anointing oil. I encourage you to stay on from beginning till the end. And you shall indeed be blessed. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I give you thanks for today. Lord, we thank you for this time in our lives. We thank you, Lord God, for you have a plan for us. We thank you, Father, for yesterday is past. Tomorrow is ahead. We ask, Lord, that in our lives there shall be no better yesterday. That things will just keep getting better and better. Number one in our walk with you. And then in every aspect of our lives. Lord, I pray that we shall not out prosper our spiritual growth for your word says in third john 2 i wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers lord we don't want to prosper and then the prosperity becomes a destruction to us we want to prosper, in, to grow in our spirit and also prosper in every aspect of life. That we will have a balance in our lives. That we will be like Abraham, like Job, who feared you, who served you, who loved you, despite being very wealthy. May our wealth be used for your kingdom. And Lord, we thank you for this service. On this mountain, you have ordained to destroy the veil of covering over the nations. Let this mountain of encounter be the end of spiritual blindness in their lives, I pray in Jesus' name. Let it be the end of demonic affliction, of, of poverty, of sickness in their lives in Jesus' day. Thank you, Father. Open our eyes that we may behold wondrous things out of your law. Glorify your name. Lord, may your presence be everywhere this service is participated in. Save, heal, deliver. Turn things around for the people, O oh God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And now I want you to take the next two minutes to confess your sins unto the Lord and ask Him for mercy. Ask Him for mercy. Whatsoever you have thought, said, done, or not done, ask the Lord for mercy right now. Ask Him for mercy. Ask Him for mercy. Ask Him for mercy. Tell, ask the Lord to give you the grace not to sin. Ask Him to help you so that you live a holy life. Ask Him to help you 
that you may live a holy life. Thank him for answering your prayer. As the Lord to touch you today, to heal you, ask him to do for you that which you are desiring. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. And in the name of Jesus, I destroy every power that seeks to hinder the service, to hinder the move of the Holy Spirit in and through the service. Those powers, I destroy them now in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And so today I'm speaking on Emmanuel. In Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, the Bible says, Be, And the Lord himself shall give you a sign. For behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and you shall call his name Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God is with us. God is with us. Names are description of function, description of purpose. And so the name Emmanuel tells us that that child is God manifesting himself with us. It is God who has come to tabernacle with us. It is God who has come to set us free, to deliver us, to heal us. Wherever God goes, great things happen. People are set free. People are healed. So when the Bible just says God is with us, it expects us to know that when God is with us, certain things will happen. Certain things will happen when God is with you. Where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. Where the Spirit of God is, oppressions are broken. Where the Lord is, there is order. Where the Lord is, there is prosperity. The Bible says the Ark of the Covenant was kept in the house of Obed-Edom for three months. And God blessed the household of Obed-Edom and blessed all he had. In three months, Obed-Edom became wealthy because the Ark of the Covenant was in his house. When God is with you, he will prosper you. He will bless you. It may not happen instantly. You may go through some trials to prove yourself, to prove your loyalty. But when God tries you and sees, approves you, he blesses you that you have in abundance and enough to bless others. When Jesus is involved in your job, there will be job security. There will be career advancement. There will be business expansion. When God is with you, your health will improve. You will walk in good health. If you fall sick, you will be healed. When God is with you, the enemy will flee from you. When God is with you, he will make all things work together for your good. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. All things, even your past mistakes, he will turn them around to work for your good. When God is with you, he will frustrate the counsel of your enemies. Like he frustrated Balaam's counsel. When God is with you, he will turn wise counsel and devices against you into foolishness. He did that for King David. He turned the counsel of Ahithophel, who was one of the smartest men then. He turned his counsel into foolishness. When God is with you, he will make your enemies who seek your destruction to announce your promotion. He did that for Mordecai. 
Haman went to ask for Mordecai's head to be cut off, to be hung, rather Mordecai to be hung by the neck. And before getting there, God had dealt with the king, the Persian king, and the Persian king wanted to honor Mordecai. And who did he send? The very man that came to ask for the execution of Mordecai. God with you. He will restore what the enemy stole. God with you. He will bring back what you lost. God with you. He will give you speedy recovery and speed in your progress. When God is with you, your family will have peace. Your marriage will stand. When God is with you, any relationship that is contrary to your destiny is going to fail so that the relationship that, will, that is consistent with the plan of God will come. When God is with you, he will open your eyes to see that which is hidden from you for malicious reasons. We need God in our lives. We need Emmanuel. And that is the purpose for which Jesus came. The Bible says, if God be for you, who can be against you? The Bible says that Uzziah the king prospered mightily for God was with him. When God is with you, whether it is a tough time or a pleasant time, it will have the same end product, a blessed life. In Luke chapter Luke chapter 1, verse 69 to 74. Let's look at Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1, verse 69 to 74. I will read. And has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant, David, as he spoke by the mouth of the holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Luke chapter 1, verse 69 to 75. God ordained that we should serve him without fear, in holiness and in righteousness. So if you are celebrating the birth of Christ this period, or you are just listening to me and being blessed, Jesus came so that we can be, will be delivered from the hand of our enemies. Your enemy is sin. Your enemy is gluttony. Sexual immorality is your enemy. Pornography is your enemy. Witchcraft is your enemy. Wickedness is your enemy. Inferiority complex is your enemy. Um, rebellion is your enemy. All things that are contrary to your divine nature as a child of God are your enemies. And if you are not born again, you are in the hands of your enemy's sin. Jesus came to save his people from their sins. So he has come to save you from your sin. 
why not use this opportunity and get saved so that you can serve him fearlessly in holiness and in righteousness and if you are celebrating his birth take note in holiness and in righteousness you can't celebrate the the deliverer by putting on chains and going into the prison you can't celebrate God's deliverance from sin by indulging in sin. So you cannot celebrate Jesus Christ in drunkenness, in revelry, in superstition, and in plain occult. Jesus has no connection with Krampus, no connection with Santa Claus, he has no connection with any other character that we see today being glorified. I want you to know that if your life is under the umbrella of salvation, if you have decided to dwell under the wings of the Son of Righteousness, Jesus Christ. He will preserve you and He will keep you. If you are not born again, I want you to pray with me right now and give your life to Jesus Christ. And the rest of you who are already born again, I want you to just pray and thank God for your understanding of the scriptures this month, this time and prepare your communion materials for the communion that is your bread and your drink do that right now those of you who want to give your life to Jesus just repent call upon the name of the Lord in your own words or you can repeat after me let's begin Lord God Almighty I thank you for sending your son Jesus Christ to deliver me from sin that I may serve you in holiness and righteousness all my days. I repent of my sins. I confess and accept Jesus Christ, your Son, as my Lord and Savior. Fill me and baptize me in your Holy Spirit or with your Holy Spirit. Keep me holy and righteous Till the day I meet you. Thank you, my Father. Preserve me in Jesus Christ, your Son. For in Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. You prayed that prayer. You are born again. I encourage you to fellowship with other believers be baptized in water that is being dipped into water and brought out of water and if you want to reach out to me feel free you can email me david eichbonner ministries at gmail.com eichbonner is spelled a i g b o N A. By the way, that's an Etzakon name. It means this cannot be defeated or this cannot be killed. That's the meaning of my name, Eidbona. So you can reach me by email David Eidbona Ministries at gmail.com. You can also reach this ministry through WhatsApp or Telegram. The number is plus two three four seven zero 
0302-333-4368. I'll call it again. WhatsApp, Telegram, you can reach us with the number plus 234-7033-33-4368. I look forward to hearing from you and fellowshipping with you more, praying for you where you have needs to be prayed for. Now take the communion. Jesus commanded us to take communion as a way to remember him. So celebrating the birthday of Jesus is not a commandment. It is a choice people make. But the commandment is to celebrate him, remember him with the communion. The Bible says as whenever we take the communion, we proclaim his death. Meaning we proclaim that the salvation of God has been received by us. And whatever you proclaim, you invite the power of that thing. When you proclaim by taking the communion that Jesus, you are a part of Jesus Christ, the power of God comes upon you and into your situation. Things that you don't even know are happening in your life. The power of God moves in to take effect. That's the power of proclamation. That is why we proclaim his death. It is so important that Jesus said, as often as you do it, do it in remembrance of me. So he expects us to do it often. How often? The choice is yours. So the bread becomes the body of Jesus Christ in us. The drink, fruit juice, water, wine, becomes the blood of Jesus in us. Note, Jesus did not slice his hand and say, take, eat my body. He used bread as a symbol of his body because he is the Passover lamb. The, the early Israelites in the Old Testament, they killed the Passover lamb and ate it. And we in the New Testament... We take bread instead. That is how Jesus commanded us. So lift your bread, lift your drink. Father, we give you thanks. In obedience to your word, Lord Jesus, we take communion to remember you. To remember your work of salvation. And we proclaim that you came in the flesh, you, you died and resurrected that we may be saved from the hands of our enemies and serve you in holiness and righteousness without fear all our days for, for eternity. And Lord, we ask that you turn the bread to the body of Jesus Christ, you turn the drink to the blood of Jesus Christ, and that whatsoever is not in Jesus Christ and has been in us, you will take it out of us. Remove from us whatsoever the enemy has planted, whatsoever is in us that is contrary to you. And we pray, Lord, that whatsoever is good, yet dying or dead in our lives, the resurrection power, that raised Jesus from the dead will bring these things back to life. Dead situations, dead marriages, dead relationships, damaged body parts, lost body parts, those who have lost kidneys, lost lungs, lost eyes, eardrums, whatsoever body part has been lost, we receive from the body of Christ the replacement. Replacement of finances that has been lost. Of peace. We receive peace in our lives. And all that we need. For all that we need is found in you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus said, he broke the bread, and then he said, take it. This is my body, which is broken for you. The body of Jesus Christ was broken so that your life will not be broken. Whatsoever it is that you desire of God, just ask the Lord to give it to you. Just proclaim that you receive it as you take communion. Say, I receive a new eardrum. I receive promotion. I receive a new job. I receive business ideas. Whatsoever it is you need, just say, as I take this communion, I receive it from Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. The Bible says, by reason of the anointing, the yoke is broken. The Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. The Bible says that Jesus sent his disciples, they went out and they anointed the sick and the sick were healed. The Bible says in Psalm 45 verse 7, you love what is right and you hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. There is the oil of gladness. So, lift up your oil. Any oil will do. Just get some clean oil, one you have not cooked with. Just put it in a container and, or a saucer. And let's pray. Father, we thank you for the oil lifted to you. We ask, Lord, that you will bless every oil, mine and my brothers and sisters, Sanctify this oil, Lord, and make it holy anointing oil. We pray that your power will flow through this oil to effect the necessary changes in our lives. We pray that your presence will go with us. Your power will manifest in us and through us. We pray that according to your word, just as it is in your word, deliverance, healing, protection, uh, promotion, Enjoy will be our portion as we are anointed and as we connect with this anointing. For indeed, there are some who have no oil where they are, but as they by faith connect with this anointing, may it be unto them also. Lord, we thank you. We receive these blessings and others with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. I receive it in Jesus' name. So you take this and um, anoint yourself. You can anoint your home. Anoint those who are sick in your midst. Anoint the sick. Anoint those who are oppressed, those who are having battles. Anoint them. And you are going to see a change in their lives and in your life please do subscribe to this channel if you are watching on david eidbonner or david eidbonner ministries channel i want you to if you haven't done so before click the subscribe button and feel free to upload my videos to your own social media um, channels and platforms feel free to do that i'm not about how many followers I have online. No, I want the world to hear the word of God. So please do uh, feel free to upload to your own platform, share this video, and you are free to reach out to me as uh, where the need arises. My channel is on several social media platforms and we are expanding our reach. So with every platform, you can always check for David Eichbonner or David Eichbonner Ministries. Remember, Eichbonner is spelled A-I-G-B-O-N-A. I am right now on odc.com. In fact, through odc.com, that channel, that um, platform, odc.com, you can go through my channel and give an offering to this ministry if you want to. 
I have received um, requests to know how to do that. So you can go through odyssey.com. There is a support button, usually either below the video or by the side. Of, but look for the support button around the video. Click on it, and then you can give an offering through, uh, through this, to the Lord through this ministry. Then I am also on BitChute. I am on locals.com. I am on um, iConnectFX. The audio um, messages and prayers are also on SoundCloud. That's where you have the podcasts. You can find me on TikTok. You can find me on gab.com. You can also find me on uh, Brighton. Brighton and Patreon. Feel free subscribe to my channel on these platforms share these videos download our videos and save them offline so that in case they are taken down you have copies may yahweh bless you and keep you may yahweh cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you may yahweh lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace amen